Today, we are making three freezer meals perfect for big families or for small families. All right, the first recipe we're gonna show you today is our copycat, Wendy's Chili. Yes. If you've ever been to Wendy's, this is one of the most popular menu items that's been on their menu for years. I and love it now you can make it at home. Okay. So the original recipe that we linked to does call for two pounds because it's gonna feed six to eight people. Yes. Since we're cutting it in half, all we're gonna do is divide it between the two freezer bags. So now you have two meals that are gonna feed four people each. So yes. one pound cooked ground beef, let it cool. Each, yes, before you put it yep, in. Yeah, because we don't wanna <laughs> freeze hot meat. So we're gonna put them in the bags and then we're just gonna start dumping ingredients in. So the recipe calls for two packages of chili seasoning. Um, so we're just gonna put one in each bag. All right, this is a super easy recipe to split in half and you get two meals out of it. All right, and it's one of my favorites. I love this chili so, like, recipe. If you want to be a domestic goddess in your family, this is the recipe. <laughs> you put this in your slow cooker, the whole house smells good. Yes. Okay, so we added the seasoning. Now we're gonna do three cans of stewed tomatoes. This one's gonna be a little bit trickier because we're gonna do one can in each bag. Nice. Now we have to divide this can between the two. Um, you'll notice too, I didn't drain any of it. We're just gonna dump it in. I'll let you do Eyeball the dividing. It. Okay. Yep. That's the nice thing about this recipe, whether you're at, they don't have to be perfectly even, they'll still turn out and taste yep. delicious. Okay. Totally. One onion. Perfect. Diced We're as big or small as you want. Guess here. And yep. Chop, and chop half. it in half. Perfect. Half so I here. knew we'd be doing freezer meals today. I actually diced all my vegetables last night nice. and then put them in bags. If you don't have one of these choppers, you can get it on Amazon. We'll link to it below. Yeah. Um, it makes cutting your vegetables so easy. So I diced easy. all these vegetables in about a minute and a half. You just throw it in. Chop, 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 chop. It's the best. Yep. So the next thing we're going to add is green pepper. It's just one green bell pepper. That's cut. Little. Or I just, like how little it I did it, it small because then my kids can't pick it up. It's true. And it cooks in with the meat and all the flavorings that has a really good taste. Right. So. The smaller the better for my kids. And then how many stalks? That is two ribs of celery. Okay. The stalk is oh, the whole celery plant. Ribs. We're ribs. not doing two plants of celery. We're just doing ribs. I wouldn't complain about that. I'll be honest. Okay, I, I would complain would hardcore. Okay. I would. don't love celery. I love it. <laughs> In a super stew, I do love it. Okay. Next, we're gonna do tomato sauce. This is the big can of tomato sauce. It's 14 or 15 ounces. So we'll just cut it in half. You could do two small cans and that would be easy. Oh, it's true. Dump one in each. But I think you save money buying the you big one. You save money buying the big one. Yep, I'll okay. just put it over here. Next, we're gonna do a can of Rotel. It's just diced tomatoes with green chili. So even if you don't have Rotel or can't find it at your store, um, you could do a can of diced tomatoes and a can of green chilies. Nice. It just makes it easier. And once again, oh, we're not draining funny. any of these. So don't worry about, like it just saves you that extra step. Nice. Dump and go for sure. Okay, pinto beans, can of pinto beans. Did you drain those at all? Um, I did a tiny bit on the top. Okay. But you don't have to. Yeah, okay. It's all gonna mix in. Okay. okay. I like it. The last one that we are doing are kidney beans, but this is where I like to switch it up a little bit. I get these chili beans. And there's kidney beans in there, but they come in a mild chili sauce. Nice. I just like the flavor of it. You can use plain kidney beans, but for this recipe, I like the chili sauce that comes with these kidney beans. Okay, and just like that, you have two meals prepped, ready to go. I feel like this makes quite a bit too. This like, is gonna make a lot, like it will comfortably feed four. Yes. If you, if it's just you, you could cook this and then freeze the individual cooked servings when you're done. Nice. Which for some people, because yeah. you don't want to eat chili four nights in a no. row. I'm sorry, that's gross. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, if you love chili, oh, okay. you could right. do one night of chili and the second night chili dogs. Third okay, night. it's like, true. It's you true. can find things creative. But if you want to cook it and then you could refreeze it again and pull it out when you need just a quick bowl of chili. So to cook this, you're gonna put it in your slow cooker, absolutely frozen and it will cook for five to six hours on low, nice. maybe seven, depending on your slow cooker. Yeah. Low and slow is the way to go with freezer meals. The next freezer meal we're making is our sausage and peppers. Now this is perfect if you're looking for like a lower carb meal, or if you want yeah. to, you, I mean, I like to eat it with rice, so you're ready. My kids love this over rice too, but what I love it for is quick lunches. Oh, I, I never thought this of at the that. beginning of the week, and then you can enjoy lunches all week long. This all together would make six big servings. Okay. We're gonna divide it and make two, three servings each. Okay. 
Okay. So first thing we have is every color of bell pepper. Yes. So there's four bell peppers that we chopped up. They're pretty okay. good size because we want them to be bite sized. We don't want to dice them. We don't want to slice them because then they're not going to cook. They'll just get so wilty. And yes, yes. I don't like them that taste. Them. Yep. Yeah. So we just divided the two or the four peppers between the two bags. Okay. Okay. The next ingredient we're going to add is just some pre-cooked sausage and you can use whatever kind you want this is actually a turkey sausage that we're going to use um one of my favorite is the chicken apple sausage yes, the that's my favorite you can get it at the deli or the um just at your grocery store buy the cheeses and sausages so we've got to divide these between the two bags right thank you you might have to have a helper help you yeah <laughs> or you might have these all over the counter who knows <laughs> it's fine Okay, so divide those up. Nice. Now we've got a can of tomato sauce. Okay. So we're gonna split half it in half perfect. between the two bags. It's just an eight ounce can. So four I ounces in each. Yep. Can here. Okay. yep. And then I have a can of petite diced tomatoes. You can also use diced, you can use stewed, whatever tomatoes you have on hand. We're not draining it. We're just gonna dump, do it. dump half of it and half of it. Nice. Okay. okay. Onion, one diced onion. Yep, one diced onion. If you don't like onion, you can leave it out. Um, you could also slice it if you want some bigger pieces of onion. Oh, that's a good idea. Put yeah. it with your peppers. Yep. So chunks. however you like it. Nice. My kids will eat it if it's small. So. Yes. Okay, as so far as seasoning is go, we have one teaspoon of onion powder, one teaspoon of garlic powder, and one teaspoon of Italian seasoning. I just mix them all together and I'm going to just eyeball half. That's smart. And you can even half. just do like half a teaspoon of each yes. one too. So you could be I'd totally already pre-measured, so that's I'm why we're rolling with that. I'm a fan of that. And then we're gonna do half a teaspoon of garlic in each one. So one teaspoon total. Perfect. And a little bit extra. Mm. That's garlic. <laughs> okay, and that's it. So to cook this in the slow cooker, um, I always spray my slow cooker with like nonstick cooking spray for easy cleanup. And then you put this in there completely frozen, rock solid frozen and you're gonna cook it for five to six hours. Because the sausage is pre-cooked, all you gotta do is just make sure that the peppers are soft enough to your liking yep. and that the onions are tender. Other than that, you're good to go. So in the Instant Pot, what would you do? I would do, make sure you add like maybe a little bit of half a cup of broth on the bottom. It's yep. like you need some sort of liquid in there. I would probably go five minutes. Like yeah. you just have to cook the peppers and that's it. Yep, quick and easy, so good over rice. Easy lunch. Okay, our last freezer meal that we're gonna be making is lemon pepper chicken. Now, I've only made this in the slow cooker, so maybe Kristen, you can be thinking of Instant Pot okay. instructions. We'll play around. Tell you what's in it. So we're gonna start with chicken. You can use whatever cut of chicken you want. I went with the chicken breast, but you could also use chicken thighs or drumsticks, mm -hmm. which are super inexpensive. So I divided up the chicken and put it in the bags already. And it's completely frozen, but you can use frozen chicken for this because it's just gonna be a freezer meal anyway. The next thing that we're gonna add is just some red potatoes. Now, if you use big red potatoes, you're going to want to cut them into some big chunks, but I bought these petite red ones. They're yes. kind of like baby sized. And so you don't even have to cut them. And you know what else? What? These are pre-washed. Uh, so are best too. as far as prepping freezer meals, this, this is the way to go with potatoes. The next thing we're gonna do is one pound of baby carrots. I'm just gonna divide them between the two bags. You can also chop up some regular carrots if you don't wanna use baby carrots, just whatever you have. Diced tomatoes. Diced tomatoes, this is a huge can, it 28 ounces. Huge. You can um, also buy two smaller cans if you're making two. Yeah. Don't drain it, you just dump it in as is. And then one onion. One onion diced, diced. small. Just divide it between the two. Perfect. These are big freezer meals, aren't yes, they? Yes, but Ooh. you're getting main dish and side dish in one. True. So it's whole true. Meal. Okay, we're gonna make this lemon pepper sauce that goes on top of these vegetables and chicken. Nice. So in a bowl, you're gonna want a bowl. We're gonna add four tablespoons of flour. I just have all purpose flour. Whole wheat flour would work great as well. Nice. And then we're gonna do a ton of seasoning. So let me tell you what's in here. I have one tablespoon of garlic powder, so it's a lot, but we want the seasoning. We want the flavor. And there's two. There's like, two there's and it's huge. Two teaspoons of paprika three teaspoons of lemon pepper seasoning. You could get it for like a dollar or two at the grocery store, but that's, not bad. that's what makes it have the lemon, lemon. pepper flavor. Yes. So you're going to need that. <laughs> and then just a little bit of salt to your liking. And we're gonna dump that in with the flour. 
The last thing we're gonna add to make this sauce or to make this paste is just three tablespoons of olive oil. I probably ended up adding five tablespoons of olive oil, and then I'm just gonna divide it between the two. And what you're gonna wanna do after this is have a shake party. Put some air back in this one. Right, <laughs> get that seasoning, kind of just mix it all around. You can let your kids have fun with this one. It looks good. Yeah. This is a new one. I've never made this freezer mold before. It's super good. Okay, once you see the seasoning has gotten down to the bottom and everything is coated, you're good to go. Throw this in your freezer. Oh, we forgot to say, these freezer mills will last in your freezer for 60 to 90 days. So you might wanna put the date of when you make it. I okay. use my freezer mills within like a week or two of making them Same. because <laughs> who wouldn't want to use your freezer mill right. dinner is done. But to cook this in the slow cooker from frozen solid, You'll put it in your slow cooker, just a big chunk of frozen food. You'll cook it for six to seven hours on low. Your house will smell amazing. Right. Serve it with a green salad, dinner is done. All right guys, if you saw on our last video, we have come out with yes. six sister seasonings. Well, they're almost here. Yes. You just have to get on the wait list. We don't have a ton of them, so get on that wait list so you know when they're coming out. I'm guessing like what, three-ish weeks they'll be here, so get on that wait list. If you love this video, make sure to check out our other 15 favorite freezer meals right up there. And we'll see you guys next time. Bye.